Well, hello there, little friend of mine. You've been reaching for yourself for such a long time. Hey, Taurus. Thank y'all for joining me again. Welcome to Deja Vu Divine Guidance. To my subscribers, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you all for subscribing and helping me to build this channel, okay? We're going to get our numbers up. <laughs> well, thanks again for joining me. Those of you who are joining me for the first time, thank you for tuning in. This is an intuitive reading for Taurus for April 2020 okay this is a general reading so of course it will not resonate with everyone that's not possible everybody is not living the same storyline okay so if this does not resonate with you please be sure to check your other signs uh, that are in your chart uh, sometimes those energies can resonate with you as well when you're if your sun moon or venus doesn't so this is for the uh, your the sun moon and venus signs of taurus um i'm i'm an airy sun but uh, my venus is actually in taurus so hey y'all <laughs> so let's get this party started let's get this party started all right my earth energy my taurus so i'm gonna get the cards out I think I just saw one try to fly out, but let me keep going. Let's see. I'm going to do past, present, and future, or outcomes. And we'll get some clarifiers. We'll get some advice. And we'll go from there. Thanks again for joining me, y'all. Thank you again for joining me. So let's see. What is going on with Taurus? in april 2020 this is your reading for april 2020 taurus april 2020 am i forgetting anything not that i can think of if any of you have been dealing with a narcissist or narcissistic uh energy please be sure to check out my my um recent video I made uh, last week called help <laughs> I'm dealing with a narcissist okay if any of you are dealing with that all right so first two cards out we have moving on and we have the throat chakra so some of you need to speak your piece and move on okay I just recently went through a similar situation like that like <clears throat> it kind of, it forced me to speak my piece because I would have never said anything. I would have just, I ain't going to get into it. <laughs> but sometimes we need to speak our peace, speak our truth. And then that's the thing that's going to allow us to move on. Okay. All right, Taurus. So you're moving on from something, whether it be a, a job or old relationship or just a situation that you really didn't want to be in in the first place but you ended up there some somehow some way but uh you made a decision you spoke your mind and you said deuces so good job because you realized that you needed more than what you were getting and like I said, whether that's a job or a relationship, you needed to speak your piece and, and, and move on, okay? So you're moving away from something because you realize it, it wasn't quite you. It wasn't quite for you, okay? With this, uh, <laughs> with the day chakra card coming out, that's what I'm getting. Something wasn't enough. Something wasn't enough. It wasn't going to sustain you, and you knew this. So you cut your losses and you moved on. Good job. A lot of people can't do that. They just keep going with it just because they're in it and they're comfortable. Even though the situation is uncomfortable, they just kind of stay in it because, you know, we don't like change. But uh, you said, nope, I'm going to get the hell on because I know I deserve more than this. Good job, Taurus. 
Yeah. And you were able to do that because you have some spiritual strength. Come on, coming on. You got you have spiritual strength. Very good. Because of what you've been through, you know yourself, okay? You know what you've been through. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. What you're willing to deal with and not willing to deal with. And you said, you know what? I'm I'm not going to say kick rocks. I'm going to kick rocks. I'm going to get on down the road myself. Peace out. Okay? Because this ain't for me. And you spoke up on it and you moved on. You know, you had the strength to do that. Good job. You know what? This came out in the Aries reading, too. I feel like a lot of people now are tuning into their inner wisdom, your intuition, which is good. That's what we need more of right now in these, the times that we're in. You know, it's a lot of mess going on in the media. And I mean, there are some real things happening in the world. Uh, but sometimes, you know, this spin or that spin is put on it uh, to put us in a place of fear. Um, and, and when we act from the place of fear, you know, that allows outside forces to control us. But not you, Taurus. You tuning in to that wisdom, to that inner wisdom, to that spiritual strength. Wonderful. All right, let's see what else we have. Normally, I just get the, you know, get all the cards out and, and go. But you know what? I'm just going to flow with it. <laughs> I'm just going to flow with it. If Spirit wants to do it like this, that's fine with me. Who am I to say? All right. So what do we have for the outcome position for Taurus for April 2020? Outcomes. I feel like this one needs to come out. Ooh, Taurus. What? fulfillment of wishes this is what you're on your way to okay i see a big old treasure chest and i always see a peach in this card there is no peach in this card but do you see the peach <laughs> like uh taurus you are about to be very fruitful okay all your hard work is about to pay off in the very near future awesome and I just feel like I need to get one more card. You got chakra cards with your first two. Let me see if one more will come out or what else will come out. Let's see. For Taurus, April 2020. What does Taurus need to know for April 2020? Taurus, April 2020. Show me clearly. Oh, yeah. You're showing me real clear. All right. So, trapped in fear. I feel like, um, let's see. What's up with this card? I feel like you're coming out of this. Or you just came out of this. Where you were trapped in fear. Okay. You were fearful of speaking up, but uh, looks like you cleared your throat chakra, you know. So you were afraid to speak up at first. But it's like that situation kept pressing on you and pressing on you and pressing on you and pressing on you and pressing on you, pressing on you until you had to speak up, okay? It forced you to speak up, you know. And that's where the spiritual strength came in, you know. But I'm going to get some clarifiers because this is in the outcomes position. So I, just to be sure, I feel like this is past energy, but let's get some clarifiers to see um, what else. On the bottom of the deck, we have rest and rejuvenate. Rest and rejuvenate. Okay. So let's see. Let me get some clarifiers. I'm not sure what's going on. do some uh some tarot but uh, i think i will get some angel cards too after this so let's see how let's clarify all of these past present and outcomes for taurus 
for April 2020. So first card, Four of Pentacles. Oh, shoot. You got two cards out already. I'm going to take those two. Let me grab them right quick. So you have the Two of Wands. <clears throat> And then you have the world card, which makes perfect sense along with this one. Fulfillment of wishes and the world. Taurus, are you afraid of success? Because look at all this goodness. And then this. I feel like some of you know the good that you have coming to you. But for some reason, you're afraid. Why are you afraid? Some of you are afraid, you know, if you come into abundance, um, you're afraid of the expectations of others, I think. Um, afraid that they'll expect you to, like, take care of them or behave in a certain way that you know you're, you don't want to or you can't see yourself. Uh, behaving as such let me see let me see so on the bottom of this deck we have the fool all right the fool on his journey he's carefree and ready for the world okay yeah he's look he's ready for the world <laughs> he's ready to go out there and get it okay he's ready to go get it um and I feel like that's you, but something about moving forward is kind of scary. Um, it could be. You might be weighing your options about something and you just, I think you might be just afraid of, of um, making the wrong decision. And maybe that's where this rest and rejuvenate card comes in. Because that's what you're going to need to do. Um, in order to get in tune with your intuition and make the right decision, okay? So you don't need to worry about it. I think you just need to get in a quiet place and meditate on it. Pray about it. Ask spirit to guide you, you know. Spirit is always uh, lending us advice and leading us, but it's up to us to accept it and follow follow the leading, okay? And the best way to do that oftentimes is just to get quiet and just um, relax, you know. You don't have to meditate. Hey, you can pray about it and then take a nap and wake up with the answer. I've done that. It, it works. <laughs> it works. It works. I've solved hard math problems like that. Just, just sleep on it, okay? Just sleep on it. No rash decisions, okay? And you don't have to be fearful either because spirit is with each and every one of us. Um, you know, you can call on spirit. You can call on your angels for wisdom and for guidance, okay? You don't have to be trapped in fear. I don't know what this decision is coming up. It could be about your career. It could be about your career. <clears throat> but I'm going to go to the Four of Pentacles in your uh, uh, near past position. Let's see what that says. I, I feel like you. this is, uh, you're solid. I feel like this means you're solid. Um... sitting on your throne holding it down you know because you've moved on you spoke your peace you moved on and now you're in a good place in a stable place let me see four of pentacles the number four to me speaks about stability um but the four of pentacles apparently speaks of um a position of great power okay which makes sense okay and maybe that's what you're fearful of because with great power comes great responsibility 
So you're, um, Taurus, you're being called on to distribute resources to a group or community. And I think you might be trapped in fear because you really want to make sure you're doing this with fairness and conscientiousness. Um, and you don't want to let the power um, corrupt you or allow greed to set in. Which is good. That means you have a pretty good moral compass, which is probably why you're coming into this right here. <laughs> Fulfillment of wishes and the world. The world is your oyster, okay? Yeah. It says, rest assured that you will eventually receive rewards for your generosity. You have a golden opportunity to implement wonderful and positive changes that will influence generations to come. Wow. Taurus, what are y'all doing? Ooh, man. Let me know in the comments. If this is resonating with you, please tell me how. <laughs> tell me how. Tell me how. Or comment down below. Hashtag Taurus love. Hashtag Taurus love. Taurus nation. All right. It also says whether it's coaching your baseball team or managing a metropolis, every move you make for the sake of the group is vitally important. And this could just be talking about your family, too. People are depending on you to execute sound judgment. You have impressive resources at your disposal. Don't take your duties lightly. There is more at stake than you know. But, Taurus, I have a feeling that you know. And that's where this fear is coming from, okay? That's where all this fear is coming from. So you, you're you not taking things too lightly, which is good. But you want a little bit more of this full energy, you know? Interesting. I'm going to go look in the... Let's see. I'm going to take a look in the, at the uh, Trapped in Fear card. I want to read that. Because I know there's more to it. All right. This card reveals that it's actually your own fear that has, Im that has you immobilized and trapped, preventing you from making decisions or choices. You are the one who's holding yourself prisoner or hostage. And in order to continue your journey, you must first face your fears so that new people and conditions can manifest. Okay, yeah, so you want to watch what you're focusing on. Um, I don't know, this could be about what's going on right now, what we're all a little concerned about right now. Um, however, this is a timeless reading, so it doesn't necessarily have to be. But, you know, we all know we've been dealing with the coronavirus um so it could be that and all i have to say about that is you know you want to use common sense but you do not want to feed into the fear that's being peddled um you do not want to feed into the fear that's being mongered <laughs> fear mongering you know there is some very real concerns out there but i feel like i hate to say it but some people are losing touch with common sense okay turn off the news if you need to okay take the necessary precautions wash your hands take your vitamin c eat plenty of fruits and vegetables uh, but there's no need to like hoard all the stuff in the store like people have been doing. It's, 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 it's really not whew, it's really not necessary. Um, but you want to watch what you're focusing on. It might not be that. you know it could be anything. but this card tells me that <clears throat> it's mostly in your head because all, all these cards are wonderful. You have fulfillment of wishes and the world coming up. So it is the end of a cycle as well. Um, you are you have moved on from some some things that were not in your best interest, which is why you're going to come up on this fulfillment of wishes, which is which is why you developed the spiritual strength, you, and you recognized 
uh, when something wasn't good for you or wasn't giving you what it need, what you needed. And so you were able to voice your concerns and move on, which is great. But you don't want to stay in this energy right here. So you need a distraction. You need to divert your focus to something else because this looks like it's all in your head. That's what it looks like. I'm not saying it is, but that's what it looks like from what I'm seeing here, okay? Ah, uh, let's see. In order to continue your journey, you must first face your fears so that new people and conditions can manifest. And they are manifesting. Uh, many individuals choose to stay in this place because they can't see the road ahead. They feel a misguided sense of safety there or they're afraid of starting something new. So it could be that. You could just be afraid of starting something new. But I'm hearing, uh, Taurus, it's going to be all right. It's going to be better than all right, okay? So that that cycle of negativity or whatever you, you're moving away from, that's over with, okay? You spoke your piece and you moved on. That cycle is ending, and now the world is your oyster because you have you're coming up on the fulfillment of your wishes, okay? So you don't want to stay trapped in fear. God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So you just want to redirect your attention to something else. <clears throat> But staying in this in this um, fear energy will only add to your levels of stress and anxiety and create adverse effects in your physical body. You don't want that. Seek, seek out wise counsel for assistance. You don't have to do this alone, but know that you possess all of the tools that you need to free yourself. You're forgetting how strong you really are. Look, don't forget how strong you really are. That's why this card came out, to remind you of your strength, your spiritual strength, your inner strength. Lean on that. Don't forget who you are, Taurus. Okay, my marvelous, strong earth energy. Know that you possess all of the tools you need to free yourself. You're forgetting how strong you really are. This period will end when you use your mind to cut through the limitations caused by your emotions. Okay? So you've already moved on from whatever that negative energy was or it's just it or it could have been just a situation that dis, that it didn't mesh well with you. you it was not a good fit whether that was a job a relationship um even a house i'm hearing a house that you were renting or yeah and you've already moved on from that so now it's time to release that energy release that energy you're sitting in a place of great power so you want to release that energy, rest and rejuvenate, okay? And it's going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be better than fine, okay? Taurus, it's going to be all right. Let's see what this two of wands is about. I feel like that might be a decision. Um, maybe trying to make a decision about something considering some things considering your next move let's see what was it two of wands <clears throat> you got your education and you're ready to take your newfound knowledge into the world whether you graduated from a conventional school or from the school of life you are definitely in a good position to teach others what you've learned Okay, key words of this card are choice, teaching, travel, and dreaming. Okay, pearls of wisdom are within you, Taurus. It's time to crack your shell and share your luster with the world. Don't be afraid of that either if that's what it is. 
You have so much to give to the world, so much wisdom. It says, spread your ideas and make something of yourself. You have a vision. It's time to share it. You will be amazed at how much value you have to offer, but you have to begin. Don't get caught in fear. You have to begin. You've got high ideals about what your future should look like. You've been dreaming about this day for a long time. Look, wish is fulfilled. You've been dreaming about this. You're about to walk right into your dreams coming true. That can be kind of scary too. That can be major. I understand. You've prepared yourself to step out into the world. The only thing holding you back is making a choice about which direction to go. So if you needed um, confirmation on if you're supposed to take that teaching job or if you're supposed to share your vision with the rest of the group, whether that be on the job, in your family, only you can tell how this resonates, okay? But if you are waiting, like, uh, should I share that with them? Should I teach them that? Or you might even be thinking, who am I to teach them that? You are Taurus, honey. <laughs> you have wells of wisdom within you. And like it says, you will be amazed at how much value you have to offer. But you won't fully know that until you step into that role. But it's in you, Taurus. So go for it. Because this is what I'm seeing. Fulfillment of wishes in the world. Okay? So you want to come out of that fear. I'm going to put this in the past position. Because you're coming out of that, Taurus. You are coming out. You are taking stock of where you are. Rest and rejuvenate. Get in touch with your intuition. And then make that decision. Whatever it is. Job. Relationship. I really feel like it has more to do with work uh, and money though. Than a relationship. But let's get some cards out. See what's going on in your relationship. And then we'll get some advice cards. And uh, we'll close, close out this reading. But Taurus... This looks so good, okay? There's nothing for you to be worried about. Don't worry, Taurus. It's going to be better than okay. What's going on in your love life? Uh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so I feel like that that may be what you were moving on from. But just know, Taurus, that you are supported and loved through this time of transition. You are supported and loved. Your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're all around you. Okay? And don't forget that you can call on them for guidance as well while you rest and rejuvenate and get prepared for this new direction that you're going in. It's going to be fine. It's going to be better than fine. But call on your help. Call on your help. Okay? Don't stay trapped in that fear energy. Call on your help. They are there for you. And you are loved and supported, Taurus. Wow. All right, let's see. Let's get one more for Taurus from the Romance Angels deck. One more. I'll take this one. Ah. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. But Taurus, I have the feeling that uh, this deception that uh, a lot of you caught on real early. 
like uh uh nah this ain't this ain't me this ain't for me this person is deceitful this person ain't something about this person is not right and i'm gonna go ahead and move on okay very good you listen to your your instincts you, you 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 listen you didn't ignore the red flags that is a good thing better now than later i'm sorry i'm so sorry taurus if any of you have dealt with any narcissistic energy or narcissism please check out my video i did a video on uh narcissism like a, a like a, P, a PSA, if you will, um, about the different traits of uh, narcissism and how to deal with it. So if any of you are or were dealing with that sort of energy or are still dealing with that sort of energy, please check out that video. I believe it'll be very helpful. And if you do, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know, you know, how you're moving through and if this is resonating with you, please leave me a like, or you can share this video, or subscribe. Subscribe. Help me build my channel. And thank you to those of you who have already subscribed. I really do appreciate it. Let's see if we can get one more for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus Love Life? anything any other information anything else that Taurus needs to know for April 2020 in regards to relationships worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life okay so when it's time he or she is coming Fear not. They are on the way. Okay. I think I want to get one more. One more, please. One more, please, spirit. I think that's it right there. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life so Taurus this could be you or this could be the other party it can go either way it can flip flop like that only you know how this resonates um, but one of you may have been suffering with addiction or codependency you know addiction to a person you know it could be a person could be it doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol it could definitely be a person I'm hearing that it's the other person though. Like they really don't want to leave you alone and you're you, but you know you know that you know that you know that that relationship was not good for you. And so you you had to move on, which is not an not an easy thing to do. And you know that person probably was a good a support for you while you were moving up the uh career ladder, moving up uh in your career on your job. Um, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Even without them, you did what was best for you and no looking back. I'm hearing no looking back. All right. So now we'll get some advice cards from the rebel deck. Let's see what the rebel deck has to say. All right. And I'll give you fair warning, this deck does use profanity, okay? So if you don't like cussing, you might not want to watch the end of this reading, okay? So we got two right off the bat. First one says, you do you, okay? And then it says, stop trying to change people. That shit never works. I even mentioned that on my narcissism video, <laughs> First, that was like one of the first keys. You got to stop. Don't try to change them. It's not going to work. We can't change people. People change when they're ready to change. Stop trying to change people. Okay? So that's for some of you. Um, but on the front it says, you do you. 
Don't try to change anybody. It doesn't work. Do you. That's the best thing you can do. And that's what you're doing, Taurus, because you've moved on in your spiritual strength and you're on your way to your world, your, your, your fulfillment of wishes, okay? You're healing. And you know what? When I first looked at this card, I did think to myself, okay, they're healing their heart chakra. Because at first when I saw this card, I was leaning, well, I wasn't leaning one way or the other. This still can be for career, job, um, or a relationship. But I feel like a lot of you have recently moved on from a relationship that just was not for you. It wasn't working. It wasn't enough for you. And it's good to recognize that and move on rather than to stay in a situation that you know is not right for you. So good for you. And then this card, it just has the lightning bolt on the front. And then it says, figure shit out on your own. And that what that means to me is you don't necessarily need any outside influences to help you decide what's good for you. You know what's good for you. Tap into that inner spiritual strength. Tap into your intuition. I told you that's where this rest and rejuvenate comes from, you know. And also, you are loved and supported. Call on your angels. Call on your spirit guides. Call on Holy Spirit, Father God. Pray. Call on your help because it's, it's there for you. But this is a time of healing for you. So, and when we when we go through times of healing, those are the times when we probably need the, the not probably, those are the times when we need the most rest. Okay? So make sure you're getting plenty of rest, Taurus. Because you're going to come out of this with flying colors, honey. Don't get stuck on that past energy. Okay? That's over with. That is over with. Now, now you do you, okay, and figure that shit out on your own. You don't need that other person, whoever it was that was causing you grief. You don't need them, okay? Do you? Figure it out. Which I pretty strongly believe that you're going to figure it out. Like, you probably already have, okay? Good deal. So, Taurus, this has been your reading for April 2020. I hope that it did resonate with you. If it did, please leave me a like, a share, and feel free to subscribe to my channel and ring that little notification bell because I will be putting out content regularly. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you again for joining me at Deja Vu Divine Guidance. I love you all. Mwah. Have a great, have a great April 2020. Hey, <laughs> peace out, y'all.